I'm Ksenia Stark. Uh, I'm uh, from Amsterdam and with Russian roots, so I actually was born in Kaliningrad. My first baby, <laughs> it's uh, MDX. Uh, so we launched it back in 2019. And uh, uh, we are an experimental hub for media backed by IT Science. Uh, so we're shaping the future of sustainable media distribution, actually reinventing advertising with the Web3 approach. Um, it's, you know, about um, how to avoid paid media as well. We advise on the organic growth to the startups because we entered the era of co-creation, the community building. It's really essential and uh, the main shift is happening in a strategy as well for the brands. Uh, so basically we are tackling it from technology perspective, but also strategy. And that's one part. And uh, as a corporate social responsibility, we are driving choice and it's uh, LGBTQ plus community. Uh, but we stand for diversity, equity and inclusion and we accelerate the culture through secure and immersive technologies. Uh, so we are present in more than 25 countries uh, and growing the community, um, uh, trying to fight the fragmentation of LGBTQ, uh, to merge them together, unite everyone, uh, give them the modern tools to communicate. Uh, we are about human rights, we are about education, we are about humanitarian culture. When such transparency happens on a country level, uh, it's beautiful. And this has to be an example. So a residency for me, it's a community, it's the transparency, and it's also the future of digital identity. Obviously, operational-wise, you know, uh, this is one of the most prominent use cases that I see, you know, accessing taxes, accessing chamber of commerce, you know, uh, managing your business on a distance. Uh, and um, I think I've been using more that one. Uh, and of course, you know, uh, the community aspect is there, but I wouldn't say that I was actively connecting to community, rather meeting people like on accelerators or like when being in a store and they're like, oh, you are a resident. And then like, when you speak, and on honestly, we are advocating so much a residency that we are like, where is our referral? <laughs> it's like, honestly, we do so much. Um, and uh, uh, people do love the idea of, you know, actually launching your business on distance. Uh, like digital nomading aspect is there as well and uh, you know the just the infrastructure uh, that is really friendly for you know starting entrepreneurs for sustainability obviously it's still in a very big testing mode from a very let's say technical perspective and layer one blockchains because you we have like proof of work we have proof of stake which is more sustainable you know and uh, still, uh, um, I wouldn't say that there is one infrastructure that will be so sustainable. It's still being built. But what we see, for instance, digital fashion. Why do you have to buy so much clothes if you just want to take one photo? You can buy the overlay, put it on, and that's already more sustainable because fashion has like two thirds of the waste per year. Uh, it's it's a one of the most, let's say, pollution, pollution generation industry, you know? Um, and with digitalization and the tools, it's already uh, getting this shift towards more sustainable uh, consumption.